back to another vlog. First of all, before I even say anything else, while this is still fresh in my mind and there's a lot of activity going on outside. Anyways, first of all, I just want to mention that like I almost got my package stolen from me. I had ordered, I don't know if you saw the last vlog, but I was mentioning or speaking about, honestly, right now it's 6.19 rush hour traffic i guess people are on their way home so you're gonna hear a lot of cars passing by i can't do nothing about it i wish i could stand outside with two cones and direct traffic the other way so they're not making noises in the video but unfortunately i am not the mayor nor am i the president what was i getting at i mean my work clothes obviously i got home from work um let's start from the beginning so i was expecting a package let's start from the beginning i say let's start from the beginning and then i'll don't start from the beginning the beginning is is that i had ordered like i mentioned in the last vlog a table as I've mentioned a thousand times, that I wanted to get a dining table set sort of thing for over here, right? So I finally bit the bullet and last vlog I ordered it and it said that it was going to be arriving to my house between today, which is Wednesday, and Friday. And I was hoping <laughs> it would be so late that it would like arrive on, what is it, Saturday so that I would be home because I just have this irrational fear. It's not irrational. It's not irrational, but I have this fear that like, you know, Someone would steal my package because, you know, people do that now. Why? I don't know. <laughs> people do that. So, I bought it off of Amazon, but <laughs> there's this thing that Amazon does that, like, it sends certain power. Like, people, like, sell things and deliver things on, like, different carrier carriers, if that makes sense. So, instead of coming from Amazon directly, I purchased it on the Amazon website, but it got delivered from the merchant by FedEx. So my package came via FedEx and I've been tracking my package ever since I ordered it because I'm a nut job and I'm on the generation who needs instant gratification if I'm not looking at my tracking um, number, my shipment, or just seeing where it is at every second. I'm not normal. So I'm tracking, I'm tracking, I'm tracking it and then lo and behold this morning I see that it has left or it finally arrived from whatever state it was in and it's in my state now. And then I check it again like mid-afternoon and it's like out, out for delivery and I'm like oh my goodness, no, I'm lying. It wasn't mid-afternoon. Last night it said it was in Florida, but then this morning on my way to work it said out for delivery. I'm like, oh my god, please, 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 if it's FedEx, please be late so that like when it's being delivered, I'm like home. Um, no, no, they decided to deliver my package at uh, 1020 um, during the day, so that was fun, that was nice. So all day at work, you know, just like, do I go home? So I take a long lunch break and, and go see if my package is still there so I can just take it inside and then go back to work with and lose money, I don't, I don't know. So I just like, you know what, think positive thoughts. Think positive thoughts. Think positive thoughts, right? And I did that. So I said, you know what, going straight home. I left 15 minutes early, going straight home. You're gonna find your package at your house. Guess what I found at my house? I'm pulling up, right? Pulling up, this is me driving, pulling up. I don't drive like this, but pretend right i'm pulling up to my house and outside of my house because mind you i don't live in like in an apartment complex i live in house house right i'm pulling up to my house and i see this dude on the other side of my fence like you know here's my fence here's my front yard here's the house you know what i mean so he's on the other side of the fence close to the street just kind of hanging around smoking a cigarette staring at my front door staring at my package i'm like oh is that so Skirt, skirt, drove around the back, because I normally park in the back. Skirt, skirt, around the back. Slammed my door shut and ran and went right to the front door and went to go get my package. And I don't know if he saw me within that amount of time, because you can't really see me when I'm going to park in the back. So I was gonna kind of like surprise him. So I go and I park in the back and I start walking around the house and I went to go get my package. By the time I went to the front door to get my package to bring it inside, he went and crossed the street. The dude parked across the street, literally like i want to say 10 feet maybe less across the street and then got in his car and drove away dude had intentions of taking my package but because he was so old and i saw him he was very old and it looked very heavy he was sitting there stand, standing looking at the uh, package debating on whether or not to take it that's that's um the conclusion that i reached but like i almost got my package taken from me almost Never again. I am never gonna order anything that like if it's like small things I'm like, okay, if it gets stolen fine, but like big packages like my furniture I'm not ordering to come to my house anymore Because who are these people with like no lives the man was like dang near maybe 67 or something 
balding and he just came and he 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 just stood there in front of my house smoking a cigarette looking at my my package or whatever and kind of looking around and then as soon as i pulled up he got in his car and he drove away and not like even he lived around here he just kind of got in his car and made a u-turn and left <laughs> Like, the, the, where he parked even is like on the street. It's on the literal street. It's not like there's any other like houses on the other side of the street, if, if that makes sense. So like he just parked to park into, it's not, there's like no parking space. There's a parking lot next to it. He could have parked in there and made it seem like, I'm just amazed at how, but like this close, this close. And I was gonna go to my mom's house first to do something before I got here and I didn't. So my, my brain, see, and I didn't. All of that. All of that long-winded story is to say that I got my package. <laughs> I got this stupid table. <sighs> it's in a box. It's over there. And um, I, of course, have to put it together. But um, I'm going to change out of my work clothes. Because I'm still in my work clothes. I'm going to change out of my work clothes. Put on some long TV. And then I'm going to get to working on whatever. This is what the box looks like. Here, let me take it out. That's the box. It's going to go over here so first things first is that i need to go ahead and change and then we'll get started on that i'm just like flabbergasted i am so flabbergasted i wanted him i wish i had like come like two minutes earlier just so that i can go and park the car and just be like so what's up what's up but then if i'm such a baby i probably wouldn't have done that like i don't know i really don't know what would i would do when it would come to a situation like that like i don't know what my flight or fight skills are i feel like i'm just like but then, you, then again you never know until the situation happens so i was ready to test it out though that's only because he was old but still still i can't believe it i can't believe it people have no shame no shame whatsoever i'm never ordering anything to come to my house anymore <laughs> so cute it is a little bit off the color is off compared to my coffee table this table here is a little bit more gray than my coffee table my coffee table is a little bit more beige ish if that makes sense but they're in the same color family and honestly I, at this point it really doesn't matter and there wasn't any way that I was going to get an exact color match and if I was I would have like have got have had to got would have had to get this table from Ikea, but wasn't really thinking. Plus, it was cheaper to get it on Amazon anyway, so this is, this is it. This is it. I'm actually, I think I should go to the dollar store now really quick and try and get like a rug to put underneath the table only because, of course, the way that it's set up. I mean, mind you, it's cheap, it's affordable, fine. But um, it is a little bit unstable. I know that the more that I pull it and move it and stuff, it's going to get loose and it's going to get a little bit wobbly. So I prefer it to be on um, a rug as well as maybe get cushions if I'm able to find cushions at the uh, dollar store, round cushions maybe, maybe white or so, I don't know. Maybe I won't get the cushions, don't know, but I do definitely need a rug, maybe something pretty like a fake plant or something to put on the table just so that it doesn't look so blend and plain and then of course not now but eventually we'll decorate this wall but i am happy i love it she is done she is ready i am in love and honestly it's just to get me by this is just the beginning you know i'm not gonna have this table forever so i'm trying to learn not to get too too attached with the idea of things in my house but overall i'm so happy everything is coming together i could literally cry right now i'm not going to i could I really could, but I'm not going to. Rude. So rude. But yeah, I'm basically done. I'm going to clean up my mess here. I honestly wish that I had my recycling bin so that I could recycle, but I just ordered my recycling bins today, and they said it would take five to seven business days, 
and we're not going to we've had the seven business days to throw the boxes away so we're just going to fold them up and put them in the trash and i'm going to try my best to recycle once my bins get here i told the lady i'm being charged for recycling and i don't have a recycling bin please send one to me so this is what's happening of course over there see it's so loud i prefer it to not do that this is what i have to clean up the bench i'm going to figure out what to do with it for now so that it's out of the way and just overall clean up but isn't she pretty isn't she pretty and she's so cute she's so cute i was a little bit nervous because i oh i just hit my toe i was a bit nervous because i thought that it would take up too much space in a sense but i think it's fine I think it's actually like, I think it'll work. Look at me, I thought I was done and I didn't even finish screwing in the last couple of screws over here on the chair. This one and the other one over there. Let me do that first actually. Would you, would you, would you give me a minute, sir? Alright, I went and I got the rug. I couldn't really gauge how big or small I wanted it to be because just, I don't know where my measuring tape is so I just kind of guessed. So I have this. It doesn't really go with the rug I have in my living room, although I've been thinking of changing it out anyway so we'll just i don't know we'll just see maybe i'll be fine and it'll um it won't bother me as much but i got the rug and then i got a little something to put on the table so i'm thinking of taking that plant that is in that um cup over there and putting it on the table i think that it actually gets more light in the living room anyway so instead of just having it there i'm gonna put that plant in a, a little vase that i just got at the store as well so let's put the rug down and see what's interesting is that this rug is actually bigger than the one that i was actually going to get and i think it's still too small <gasps> oh no all right i had to turn on the light for a quick second so that's the rug that i got it, it's so funny it matches the floor it kind of like blends in i almost didn't see it there look at that isn't that crazy um so i got the rug <sighs> to put underneath the table. I kind of wish it was a tad bit longer because when people sit, of course, i.e. just me, you kind of have to, you know, bring the table back a little bit, or not the table, the chair. And I don't know if it's long. I don't know if it's long enough. And I didn't want to get it too, too long because then I didn't want it to be in the way of my bedroom and, you know, just in the way because I do, Want to get something else to put in that corner so i i don't know maybe it'll be fine that way we'll see hello people it's currently thursday thursday yes it's thursday i just came back from the store i went to PetSmart, and then i went to five below i did like my very scared ish vlogging i'm just like eh, eh, put my phone away so <laughs> But I did go. Um, I got some things for my dog because he's been itching lately and he just kind of like scratched like most of his hair. Like he has a little bald spot now because he was just going to town, scratching and eating at it. That I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to get you a cone. So he's going to get a cone. Say hello. Yeah, I, so I finished putting together the table yesterday and I went and I got a rug. This is what it looks like. I think I showed it yesterday in the vlog. I'm not sure. If I don't, I don't remember. If I didn't, I'll put a clip in later. But um, I did um, go to Five Below to also see if I could find something that I can put in this pot here. And maybe like placemats or something that weren't too, too big. And maybe like cushions for the chair because the chair is a little hard. I mean, I can manage, but you know, I'm just trying to be fancy or whatever. I don't need them, but it would be nice to have them. And also coasters to have for my table, my coffee table, so people you know, when they set things down that are ruin the table because I would like to have the table for a good while and not spend any more money, but I couldn't find any. But while at Five Below, I also went to Home Goods and it just, it's like Ross on crack. <laughs> That's all it was to me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have a Ross near you or know what that store is. But if you don't know, now you know. And if you do know, Home Goods or not, at home. Is it Home Goods or at home? I can't remember, it's a home place. It was basically Ross on crack, and I'm just like, I gotta leave, because there's just no specific placement of anything. There's just like decorative stuff, seasonal, and it was just all a mess. And really, you're gonna kick on while I'm talking? Hey, see, the nerf. But while at Five Below, I did pick this up. It's like a little tray thing that I wanted for my table. I'm realizing now how very small it is. I wanted a bigger one, but I didn't want it to be too, too in the way. It's just to kind of like hold my remote. 
you know, if I get a sound system to hold another remote or whatever, just so that it's there and not way over there and I have to get up every time I'm comfortable, like, ugh, where's the remote? So, I got that. Whether it'll stay there forever, I don't know. I might even put it on the bottom shelf of the table. We'll see. But, I got my dog a dog home because he is just, we, I'm sorry, buddy, but we got, we got to do something. We got to do something. Some flea and tick medication that I found at, um, what is it called? PetSmart. Oh my God. Why am I blinking so hard? I had it at PetSmart. Um, it's a different brand that I normally get. I normally get mine. I think it's Advantix and I get it from Chewy.com and they send it to me. I'm wondering if this will be any better. So if this one turns out good, I just might just cancel my subscription for Chewy. Considering that I had a little incident the other day with that little person trying to steal my, my package, my table package, I might just try this out if it goes good and he doesn't you know, react to it. I'll just use this more often and pick it up at the store rather than get stuff from Chewy.com. Um, nothing against Chewy.com. I love Chewy.com, but like, enough's enough. And then I got him this like calming bliss bar. I feel like he has a lot of separation anxiety. Now that we live alone together, now that we live alone together, now that, you know, it's just us two. We, when I first got him, I was already living on my own. Okay, story time. This is not my first time living alone. I lived alone when I was like 18 many years ago. 20, 26, sounds like forever ago. It's almost been 10, 10 years ago. Anywho, I lived on my own when I first got him a while back. And then I moved back into my mom's house. But I wasn't, you know, for that long. This is like the official, like, I moved out. Hopefully, I don't have to go back home to my mom. Not that it's a bad thing, but like, I wanted to like, you know, like, this is my next step into growing up. You know what I mean? I'm leaving the nest. So, I did live on my own for a good while, a few years ago. And it was just me and him. And we did pretty fine. Like, we were good, we hung out, but I had a bigger yard back then. He would run around, we would play outside. And then we moved to my mom's house. My mom worked from home for a good while and my sister was there. So there was always someone there, I feel like. Even though he didn't hang out with them that much because he's, again, attached to me by the hip. He would always have like someone's presence there. And now that we're here alone, I feel like he gets a little bit lonely. I've thought about getting another dog. I've really, really thought about getting another dog, but I just, I don't think that I can honestly manage. And that's not fair to the other dog and not fair to myself and also not fair to Smokey because I feel like I would be taking away attention from Smokey. Had it, had, had it been a different way where I just had a different life and I didn't have the job that I do and I was home all the time or just like had more time to be around, I get another dog in a heartbeat or maybe I wouldn't even need another dog. I feel like he would just like not have that much separation anxiety. I feel loneliness, but I do feel like lately he's been having a little bit of a loneliness thing going on, maybe a little bit of anxiety. I think he's licking a specific spot and itching a specific spot for that same reason. I've changed his soaps, his shampoos and everything, and he's just like always constantly like, he, I gave him coconut oil on his skin. I just don't know. I feel like he's just having a moment and whatever. He's taking his time to adjust. So I got him these um, calming, Bliss Bar Chewables Cradle CBD. They're supposed to calm and relax. Made for daily use. I'm gonna see how he um, deals with this. And if anything, I will, I don't know, maybe make it part of his regimen. It says you can give him to them daily, but I don't think he needs to be on it daily anyway. So I got him that. And then I did get him a cream, just in case to kind of like, finally rule out the whole like itching so i got him this topical cream hydrocortisone is that how you say it it's an anti-itch skin support little cream i'm gonna try and see if that does anything if not honestly at this point i'm just gonna take him to the vet but every time i take him to the vet they're like he's fine he's healthy i don't have this problem with him. Like, i know can you tell him that he's fine <sighs> Dogs, you just, I, I gotta love him, gotta love him. He's hiding under the couch right now because he knows what's gonna go on. I pulled out the cane, the, the cane, I pulled out the cone and now he's under the couch. But I have to do it, I have to do it or else you're gonna go and freaking claw the spot out in your back. And that's basically what I did today. Let me get a moment to get myself together and then we'll figure out what to do. I think I'm gonna, ha I was, we'll see, hold on, I'll be right back, hold that thought. You guys, we're saying goodbye to the braids. That's it, I'm done, I'm over them. I've had braids for I think a month and three weeks now. It's been a long time. I need to get my, my hand 
and my scalp and stuff and like I just you know what I mean? Oh, I left one long one back here because obviously my hair is this long. Who am I fooling? My hair stops here. Who do I think I am? My hair's not that long. <laughs> Anywho, it's raining. It is 10 o'clock on a Friday. I'm just going to take my braids out so that tomorrow I can go ahead and wash my scalp really get in there. You know what I mean? Plus, I also miss the little curly hair. I also want to see my progress to see if my hair has grown. But yeah, that's currently what I'm about to do. I'm going to do that while sitting in my living room. It is currently raining. It's a little bit chilly. And I'm just going to have a relaxing, chillaxing. Oh my god, I scratched my I'm just going to have a chillaxing, relaxing little Friday night. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's so loud. That's all the rain happening outside. I'm just watching some Curb Your Enthusiasm. Somebody put me onto the show, and I'm kind of liking it so far. Whenever I watch a show, I have to start it from the beginning, even if it's like from like 1990, whatever. You know what I mean? I'll watch it from the beginning, just because like I have to see it all as it was intended to be seen, if that makes sense. So I'm going to prop you up here, and we're just going to do this thing. done look at how big this fro looks it looks like it's gotten ginormous of course it's very flat <laughs> it's so flat because i kind of just come through i'm liking this whole fro situation though is this the new me is this who i am now it's so cute i love the fro i don't know if i could sit there and pick it every day to make it even but my hair grew or whatever you know what i mean of course when i wet it it's gonna shrink down to nothing but it looks look at look at not so good this way maybe this way gotta you know what i mean love it love that for me i'm gonna have some ice cream and um what time is it i should really get to bed but i'm just gonna say whatever because it's the weekend and i'll go to bed after i'm done with my ice cream but I'm having such a chill Friday night with just me and my doggy and just like chilling and not feeling like I have to do something and it feels really good. So I'm gonna have my ice cream and then I'm gonna wind down, go to bed and we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm so happy I took my hair out. Oh my God, I haven't ran my fingers through my scalp in a whole minute. Feels really good. You know, I think about braids that you don't realize afterwards is how much depending on how tight you do it, because sometimes I do them too tight. You get little bumps here, and then sometimes you just get nothing but like lint balls. Oh, it feels so good to scratch. Anyway, I'm babbling. See you tomorrow. Hello. It is now Friday afternoon. I finally took out all of my hair. I washed it. I tried to do two or three different styles. They weren't working out. So I'm just like, you know what? You gotta just live with a fro for a little bit more. It's still a little bit wet as you can see. But this is me. I missed my hair so much. I can freaking put my finger in my scalp and scratch it if I want to. But yeah, I got dressed and ready to um, leave the house. I don't know what to do yet. But I know that my dog would like to leave the house for a little bit and kind of explore. So I'm going to get all of this stuff ready. We might end up just going to my mom's house, to be honest with you, because that's just, that's what I do. But I'm going to take him out just so that he can, you know, get out because he's been cooped up for a little bit. And we'll just go from there. I don't know. I'm also hungry. That's another thing that like, ugh, starving. What do we do? <laughs> do we though like the outfit? Do we like this outfit? I bought these shorts a long time ago. I made this little um top thing myself and then this is just like a like a weird mini bra thingy but do we like it or do we love it i love it i think it's cute i think it's cute